So, uh, so the new EP is called a, a Still Portrait of a Spinning Wheel. It's basically uh, all about, well, time and, time and space. Whether you're talking about geographic space or you're talking about the space between two people. It's, uh, it's, it's all about time and space. And uh, one of the, the characters that I, I used to frame the whole thing around is uh, he was, was a foreman on, on a concrete crew that my dad and my papa Earl worked for back in uh, the early 80s up here on the lake, actually. Uh, they were concrete slingers uh, all their lives. And they worked with this guy, Sam Falbo. And Falbo was a, a good old boy from Eastern Kentucky. Uh, like so many of them, he came up here to avoid the coal mines that his, his old man worked in. He came up here to get a job at Ford or GM or something. And uh, instead, him and his brothers ended up settling for concrete slinging and working in apple orchards. But uh, not a bad life uh, for a real good man. So uh, yeah, this, this EP sort of revolves around this, this cat, Sam Falvo. Um, everything about this story is real. Falbo was born in Floyd County, late 1950 in Eastern Kentucky. Raised by a TV repairman who tinkered with old radios in a dim little kitchen, never able to put much food on the table in a coal covered holler in southern Floyd County. Sam and his brothers all split for Ohio The day that the oldest was legal to drive Stacked in an Oldsmobile shoulder to shoulder Like the bedroom they'd shared from day one in Kentucky His six hungry brothers all feeling lucky Running Route 23 to a home in Ohio Samuel T. Falbo found work on Lake Erie Pouring 400 miles of the Ohio Turnpike With his three older brothers and a young Puerto Rican Who could outwork those Falbos Even when he'd been drinking From the time he woke up To the five o'clock whistle To a smoke-filled hotel room on the Ohio Turnpike met a girl who washed clothes for a living on the corner of Mill Street in Huron, Ohio. The traffic on Mill Street stood still and she'd smile and she always did smell like the freshest of linens. So we gave her his name and she gave him six children, all baptized in a single room church on Lake Erie. Sam and T. Falbo bought a house by the orchard that stretched from the tracks nearly clear to the turnpike where his two youngest brothers told when they were sober enough to pick apples from 20-foot ladders and when they weren't scrapping metal or trading in horses or sleeping on couches in a house by the orchard was an old man before he turned 40 from decades of concrete and honest hard living paycheck to paycheck lay away credit knowing this life would kill him if only he'd let it 
When the day turned 50, old Falbo, he let it. And we buried Sam Falbo by a church on Lake Erin. Sam and T. Falbo died broken unnoticed in a late model Oldsmobile on County Line 20. Leaving seven mouths hungry and fourteen hands empty And no food on the table in a dim millet kitchen Just seven mouths hungry and fourteen eyes weeping And one middle-aged widow who smelled like the linen